All right, welcome back to another one of my DIY projects here. Uh, my daughter's leaving for the Marines for boot camp here in October, so we really want to make this a good summer to remember. So what we want to do with the van is do some upgrades that make it a little bit better for boondocking. So let's head inside and I'll show you the parts that we just got and what we're planning on doing. Okay, so underneath this bench, which I have a video on installing this new bench and our solar system, underneath the kick plate here is where we have our solar system. So this is the Windy Nation controller. We have the Windy Nation power inverter. It's a 1500 watt power inverter. It's a modified sine wave. The other thing we have is behind these is 200 amp hour deep cycle batteries. So we hooked this whole system in so that we were hoping with the solar panels on the roof while we were driving, it would charge that system up. And then in that fuse box that's underneath here, I actually tied that in to the van's main fuse box. So when we park somewhere, if we were boondocking, you would actually pull the fuse from the power supply and put it into this power supply so we could run everything we needed. So we have two outlets, all the lights, and the water pump would all run off of our solar. The problem we're running into here in the Pacific Northwest is we don't always have enough sunshine to make those batteries stay fully charged. So now we have to do an upgrade. So while we're driving, if the solar's not charging up, we're actually gonna use the van's charging system to charge those batteries. So let me show you what we have bought here to kind of upgrade that system. So I went ahead and I've been doing tons of research and everything that I've been reading, the best company so far that I've heard of um, is the Renogy. So this is a DC to DC 20 amp battery charger. So we're gonna wire the disc directly in line with our battery on the van. So while we're driving, this is actually gonna check the voltage on the battery up front and check the voltage on the batteries that are underneath the seat. So we're actually gonna be charging the van battery and our deep cycle batteries all while we're driving. And then when we're parked, hopefully the solar panels will keep everything going when this isn't running. So I bought a couple other things to go with it to kind of upgrade some of the other stuff with the van since I'm already gonna have it apart. Um, I bought some marine style battery, heavier duty battery terminals so I can get those changed out. Also gives me a couple extra ports for tying into the battery without having to cut and, and mess with all the wires. I bought some new LED lights to replace all the lights in the van. So just pulling a lot less load off of it when we are boondocking. I got some extra inline fuses. Um, I got this switch here. So this is another switch that I got. There's, there is no exterior lights anywhere on this van. So when you get somewhere in the middle of the night and you're boondocking specifically and trying to see what you're doing, there's no lights anywhere to see what's going on. So what I've got some here is I actually got some undercarriage lights that are all waterproof. And I'm gonna install these lights Underneath the stairway, I'm going to install one on the back because this has a hollow bumper so you can get stuff out of the bumper. And then I'm just going to put a couple other ones on the ground so I can see what's down underneath the van when I'm parking. And then so I can monitor everything, I bought a battery capacity monitor. So this has a little shunt that I can wire in with my batteries. So then I can monitor those when we're actually running on, on those batteries to see where I'm at. That way I don't pull the batteries down too low um, during the charge. So really I can see just the overall life and quality of that charging system. So First thing I'm gonna have to do to add all this is get this old bench out of the way. Um, unfortunately, I, I kind of figured this was gonna be a, a maintenance-free kind of system, so the, the bench covers the access to the batteries and everything I need. So first thing I'm gonna have to do is tear out this bench, get the board that I put on there off so that the seat belts wouldn't touch the batteries, and then we can get access to everything, and then I'll show you how I'm gonna wire this up. Okay, so you can see here I've got the two different cables. So I changed out my battery cable ends, and these are pretty awesome. They had a whole bunch of different screws. So I got four different set screws. So adding stuff made that really, really simple. So I got obviously positive and negative. Now coming off the positive line, I took the grill out and ran it all the way back over behind here because I wanted to have easy access to the 30 amp breaker. So I actually put the breaker up here on this side of the vehicle. So I've got an inline 30 amp fuse here. And then that runs back up here underneath and then runs into the van. Now inside the van, what I ended up having to do is I had the the cover was off, I had the whole bottom of the dash off. So all those wires run underneath the dash here and then run underneath this kick plate and then end up back there going directly to the system which is back gonna be underneath our bench. As with any custom job here, kind of ran into one little snag. As I was installing this charger, I also remembered that I have to bring our seat belts on this old van here that come up through the couch. So I don't want the seat belts to actually be able to fall back down through there if the guys aren't using them or like when you shove them down and go to sleep. I don't want any of those to fall back on any of this electrical stuff. So what I'm gonna end up having to do here is build this up and I'm gonna make a wood shelf that goes all the way along the back of this so that none of these seat belts can actually drop down and contact any of this metal. So now I need to go get some measurements and get that built. 
All right, it's been a long process, but I think I finally got the Renogy DC to DC charger all installed the way I want it. So I have everything all stripped down here. So I added some bracing here on top of this because I actually want to be able to cover it so then the seat belts can have access to it, which I'll show you here when I'm all done. So now you can see I added a shunt, which onto that shunt I have a battery monitor, which I ran up front and I'm going to be mounting on a pillar stack up here. I'm going to get a stack of pillars for like transmission and I'm going to put the voltage and everything up there. Now I've also got the inverter hooked up. So we got our two deep cycle 100 amp hour batteries. And then back behind those is our Renogy 20 amp DC to DC charger. So I've got this all lined up here. So I've got wires coming all the way from the battery. And then I've got these wires here coming back to the main batteries here for charging. Now one thing that I added to this that I'm uh, actually pretty excited about, I hope it works, is right down here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, it's actually a pretty large cooling fan for an old computer. So it's a 12 volt. So since you have to add a power supply coming off of your battery, uh, going to the DC to DC charger, what I ended up doing is I actually ran mine to a toggle switch. So I have a toggle switch on the dash. So I'll let the van actually get up and running and idling pretty steady before I'll actually turn this on. And if I don't need to use it, I won't. But as soon as I turn on that char on the vehicle here and I turn on that switch, you'll see the green light will come on, but this fan will automatically turn on as well. So anytime we're running this charger we're going to have air being pulled through here so on the other side of this fan this box right here is actually the where the wire stores for my shore power so what i ended up doing was pulling the cable all the way out getting out of the way and then using a hole saw to cut this and then out there on the door on the outside that opens i drilled some extra holes in it so while we're driving any excess heat anything that's coming from here it's going to get pulled through that fan and blown right out to the side of the vehicle all right, so right now we're showing 14 volts. We actually are pulling from the solar right now because the sun is shining, so it actually is keeping the batteries full, which is real nice. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the camera up here, and I'm hoping that you'll be able to see this green light will come on here on the back showing that we have power. And then I'm hoping this fan that's right down here will actually kick on and we can hear it running. So let me head up there and get that toggle switch. Good. So you can see we got a green light indicating we are running. I don't know if you pick it up, you can actually hear the fan. If I just put my hand right here, I can actually feel it pulling a little bit of air. So once I actually put the seals on top of this, which I'll install here in just a second so you can see what I mean, it's really going to kind of make this a sealed off compartment really help pull the fresh air out. And then the back of this is where the bench back back here is, so it'll be pulling all the fresh air down and out through there. So now if we come down here and we look on the charge controller, you can actually see now we're up to 14.4, 14.5 volts. So we actually do see that we are actually pulling from that and it is charging the batteries. Now they're almost fully charged, so I really don't have to run it very long, but everything seems like it's working. So let me show you what this is gonna look like once I have to put all the covers on to keep the seat belts, because that's the last thing we need is the seat belt dropping down and getting on these battery terminals while we're driving. So let me go ahead and put the covers on it and show you what we ended up with. Okay, so I'm a huge fan of using Velcro because I want to be able to give really easy access to everything. So everything that I built here, all the shelving, I've got Velcro on the back and then I got Velcro where I want to install it. But what I want to do is I want to make sure that these seat belts are still accessible, but they're not going to fall down and drop on my terminals and happen to have these touching while we're driving. So what I did is I actually take these where I pull these seat belts and I pull them all the way forward. So it keeps them nice and tight and away from everything. And then I just take this outer block and I just pull it up snug, push it right down. So now that's installed with Velcro. You can see it's not going anywhere. Velcro holds it nice and tight, but that keeps it down here flush. It'll be underneath the bench. And then to cover up the batteries, I've got this thin sheet. So same thing, I pick the seat belts up and get them back out of the way. Now while we're driving, even if the seat belts do happen to fall back through the bench and fall down in here, there's absolutely no way they can actually fall back down and have contact with anything underneath. 
All right, just got done cleaning up and getting the bench reinstalled here. So as you can tell, when you first look in the van, you actually can't even tell the system's in here once the kick panel's installed. But all you have to do is just simply give it a tug, and that Velcro lets everything go. Now you have access to everything. So you've got your solar controller, i got my fuse box, so it's easy to add fuses as we're going. And then I've got my solar inverter here, and then I've got down on the end down there, i got an outlet that hooks that inverter. So anytime we ever need to use anything, we just flip the on switch, and we're good to go. We can use that outlet. Put the kick panel back up when you're done. You wouldn't even know the system's there. Now I'm hoping putting that that in battery charger in there and then kind of sealing it and putting that fan will keep enough airflow going through there since you got fresh air pulling from this end and from behind the couch into that van and then being pushed out the other side. So hopefully that all works out. Well, that project's all done. On to the next one. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please throw them in that comment section. I'll do what I can to answer them. If you have any questions about this system i'll put uh, the solar system of what i have in there i'll put that video right around here and if you want to join me some of my other adventures like kayaking or mountain biking i'll put some of those videos here if you really want to join me on all my adventures and all those hit that subscribe button and little bell icon so every time i upload a video you'll know and be able to join me for everything that i do well thanks for watching hope to see you around